somebody to love hey guys how's it going it is i the real randy chavez sorry to whoever was waiting that was my bad everyone say hello to dashi hello to dashi how's it going guys it is i the real randy chavez if you're new welcome if you're not welcome back my bays everyone hugs muhammad ali uh rest in peace so for those of you that have read the title and are not 100 percent sure but like chavez we can't do anything on earth 2 yet Chavez, how exactly are you going to make it with Omi? It's just a cryptocurrency. So there's a couple of different ways uh, how I'm going to explain that. Uh, one would probably, I, I would have to say staking would be the most obvious. Uh, they did mention that staking would be, hey, what's up, Fambulance? Fambulance, how's it going? Staking would probably be the most easiest. For anyone that does not know what staking is, basically it means that, let's say for Coinbase, if you have that, uh, Mr. Rambo Red, what's up, Le 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 Legacy of Bermuda? Basically what you do with uh, staking is that you take an account from, let's say, Coinbase or wherever, and you have, let's say, Ethereum on there. And you basically loan Coinbase or whoever else the Ethereum that you have. You still have 100% ownership with it. And what they do is similar to mining, where they confirm everything, the same thing with staking. And with staking, you'd be able to do is you confirm uh, all the codes, all the receipts, all the basically the, the log that they have, uh, the ledger. And you get rewards for that. And the rewards are typically between 5 and 7% per year. And then what you're going to have is Coinbase taking a small percentage of those rewards. So depending on how much crypto you have, let's say if you have $10,000 worth, uh, worth of Ethereum, so not a terrible amount, about $500 a year to $700 a year, give or take extra that you're going to get, which is still like depending on where you live in the world, that could be rent for a month, that could be Rent and food for so basically one month out of your out of your life is like okay well that that's taken care of uh, but that's kind of small stuff ten you know five figures isn't necessarily small but if you do that with oh say you have a hundred hundred grand that you're staking with five to seven percent of that is oh my god Wraith hats with the fifty dollar uh, super chat already this is two minutes into then what a fantastic start of the stream Wraith hats my bay uh, actually what well, before I get started with the rest of the stream. Boom! I don't know about you. I'm feeling 22. Everything's gonna be all right. I'll be here next to you. And uh, guys, that was uh, yeah. Uh, Super chats help support the channel. Those are all my Patreon members. Patreon down below for as well. Uh, so getting back to staking for my Bay Ra uh, Wraithax and everyone else. Basically, what we have is a if you have a hundred thousand dollars, and again, I'm just saying Ethereum. It could be either or. Five to seven percent of that per year. That's essentially five to seven thousand dollars. Now that does not. That's not just a rent payment. That is either a. Uh, that that's like a mortgage payment or like multiple rent payments, multiple mortgage payments. That's great for reinvestment. Now again, out of that five to seven percent that you'll that you get, uh, Coinbase does take a small percentage of that. Uh, but that's just one of the ways to make to make it. If you have that much money, I'd say you could you could do that. Um, I mean, as for, as for me, if I wanted to, I could potentially do that. Um, I don't think I will, though. Even though Ethereum is hot right now, and when Ethereum 2.0 comes out, that's something that is going to be so much less with fees because the gas fees are going to be so much better than that. We're going to have uh, other things as far as OMI. You're going to be able to do that with OMI. As for the developers, as for David, uh, I know I'm a little bit behind on the chats here. So, oh, Vazilio says, what's up, bro? How's it going? Oh, Ethan Youngberg says, haven't missed a live yet. Congrats. Also, for those of you that are in Europe right now, I do stream in the mornings as well now. I, I don't really have a specific time, maybe like 10 or 11 in the morning whenever I finish my run or whatever. Uh, so if you're like, hey, I missed the stream. I, I do cover different subjects, so <laughs> uh, it is different content, but at the same time, it's something where along the lines of, well, at least I can see him in the morning if I can't see him at night, and then listen to me doing uh, whatever it is that you want to do. Uh, Moon Moon says, holy moly, it is the real Randy Chavez, you're right, uh, Rich E2 is the future, my bae, Dave Denver says, tell us how it's done, Mr. Not a Financial Advisor, so that's basically how it is, and that that's just for staking, and that just happens to be for Ethereum, and again, Ray Thax, thank you so much for that, you're, you've been, I, I owe you dinner, drinks or something, <laughs> I'll get drinks one day, hope you're 21, um, or if, if you're in Europe, you, I, a bunch of people that want me to visit that are in the Netherlands or wherever in Europe, I, I think drinking is like 14. Um, so cheers to everyone doing that. But outside of that, how you're going to do it with Earth 2 is completely different. Earth 2, there's going to be multiple different ways to be able to make passive income. And between both, you might be able to retire early. 
or if not retire early, at least work a lot less where you're not working 60 hours a week, you work 50, basically work, work less so you have more time for things that you want to do. Now with Earth 2, uh, one of the ways that is going to be most obvious is going to be building something huge and then renting that out, renting out whether it's a castle, a different type of castle. Like if you build Bowser's castle or Mario's Peach's castle, it doesn't, ha it doesn't even have to be that. With a bunch of different working major, not even Fortune 500 companies, Fortune 1000 companies, major companies are going to come in and say like, hey, we need a space in virtual reality that is going to be for a work meeting because... What started, remember uh, in The Dark Knight where Joke, uh, Batman's trying to interview Joker or intimidate Joker and Joker does like this reverse psychology. He says like, oh, me and you both know that uh, the mobsters want things to go back to the way they were, but there is no going back. You've changed things. What the pandemic has done, it has been able to change aggressively what was going to happen anyway we were eventually going to go into virtual reality eventually we we're going to go uh, all these amazing amazing things but earth 2 accelerated that and everyone instead of in the mid 2020s to even 2030 working from home and doing things online remotely companies are figuring out like okay so the productivity and the happiness of our employees is going up because people are working from home and we don't have to rent out our offices and we're saving money win teching win so you're going to see a bunch of these companies doesn't even have to be fortune 500 or fortune 1000 it could just be a company like chavez trading company that uh, or, or the, the company that i worked with you know quick buy capital that had to be uh, happened to be a couple of um you know like 12 employees oh my god legacy of bermuda thank you thank you so much for that super chat you guys are the best i love you all you're my base and what's been happening is that we've seen whether it's google and twitter that are the leaders that have tens of thousands of employees, or I, I shouldn't, I don't know about that much, but several thousand employees are like, yeah, we're, we're making a lot of money and it's showing on their balance sheets. It's showing on their quarterly reports on their, on their Q4, Q3, all their, all their earnings saying like, look at how much we're saving because we're, we're, we're shutting a bunch of these places down. If you make something, something with like a giant fish tank, like a circular fish tank, an aquarium, whatever fish going by. I don't remember that movie Ace Ventura where that rich guy is like, no matter what is going on in life, I can always watch them swim. It was supposed to be French. Accent was a little, little muffled like Mrs. Doubtfire, but build something like that and host, build multiple things like that and host things every single day, every hour, try to rent it out. And there's going to be competition eventually, but at first, it's first to market. Whoever builds it is going to be amazing. If you think that people are not going to have weddings in Earth 2, like they had a funeral for that uh, girl in World of Warcraft. For those of you that do not know the story, in the mid 2000s, there was this lady that was extraordinarily into World of Warcraft, and oh my God, another one from Legacy Bermuda. Thank you, thank you so much. That uh, that means the world. And oh, y'all are just going crazy today. Um, and what what happened was that the lady, unfortunately, she died in real life. And what happened was that the clan, her guild, had a funeral for her in the game. If you think that weddings and funerals and misfas and all these other things are not going to be happening in Earth 2. You are sorely mistaken. You're, these giant things are going to be happening every single day. And uh, again, Earth 2 is just the start of it. Earth, oh my God, Legacy Bermuda again. Go. I guess we're uh, just similar to Hype Train as it is on uh, uh, Guidebook Gaming. If so, go crazy, folks. Go crazy. Uh, <laughs> we have a lot of fun here. Uh, but outside of that, Again, that's just for meetings. That's just for workplace things. That's just for parties. I'm not even talking about stuff when I'm going to be saying in Chavez Topia, we're going to have a theater. I don't care if it costs me whatever to rent a movie from YouTube or whatever. If you think I'm not going to rent a movie from wherever, Amazon, and view it there and host a viewing party so we could have a couple of daddy sodas in there and just be like, oh, this is a great scene. Uh, again, that's something that is going to be extraordinarily uh, fun and happy. It's going to make a lot of people a lot of money. And right now, I, 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 I don't have the, I won't have the time to, I'm going to be building what everyone wants, those penguin races from Avatar, giant statue of Dashi, a giant statue of me, my epic beard that you all want so much for some, for some reason. Uh, a warring zone, like if there, someone mentioned in the comments, UFC ring, I'm going to have a boxing ring, I'm going to have a giant circle for sumo wrestling, uh, if anyone wants to go in those fat, those, those fat suits. 
Uh, let me go and uh, read some comments here real quick. It's been a little while. Um, we need action on Earth too, says Joe DWN. Uh, the action, oh, so that's the other thing. Go chain. Uh, and this has to do with Omi as well. Omi might might leave Go Chain. They might go to Ethereum. I think that uh, David David ha Yoon or Rees, one of them had said that. All right, we're gonna. I don't know if they had a falling out with Go Chain or whatever they had, but they happen to have a disagreement. And I think that they are leaving Go Chain, but Omi is still staying. Like they're still using Omi, so don't worry about that. Uh, but they, I, I think they're gonna go to Ethereum. And that means that what the founder of GoChain following Shane uh, from Earth 2 means that he really needs Shane from Earth 2. So I guarantee you whatever deal they worked out happened to be a fantastic discount, happened to be, a, be because they had to, because uh, Vivi was leaving them. Uh, so yeah, they're, they need Earth 2. <laughs> That's it, like, I don't want to say it's a symbiont story. Earth 2 doesn't really need GoChain. That there's a bunch of different other places to... Um, to get from, but Go Chain just happens to be very carbon neutral, very uh, environmentally friendly, uh, so that's why Earth Two picked them. Uh, but uh, again, the Earth Two is going to be one of their biggest clients because, of, again, trillion dollar industry, both of them. Uh, both of these are going to be uh, something that's absolutely, like I said, incredible. So, moving on, <laughs> I just scroll past Legacy Bermuda is just money dropping there. Uh, Kyle Christensen says, "Listen to the timestamp of fifty three thirty of the Jason Pizzino interview with the COO Dan Crothers." Sounds like he's talking about something like Earth 2. Yeah, uh, yes, it is going to be similar. Like, you're going to have interaction with NFTs. You're going to be able to have fight records with NFTs. You're going to be able to have so much with the NFTs that it, it's going to be very similar to a virtual reality. But similar but different enough where, again, they're their own entities where I think they're going to cooperate in the future. But even if they don't, it, it doesn't matter. You still have the best of both worlds. I, I think... The reason they will be able to is because that cross pollination will, will just breed so much more money. I, imagine putting uh, and, and by the way, I want to say NFTs from VVverse into Earth Two. The VVverse, or I'm sorry, the Earth Two, have they're putting NFTs on in Phase Two. That's when you're going to see the winners from the Easter egg hunt. The winners from the Easter egg hunt will be able to put up their eggs in Earth Two on their profile. Uh, from my understanding, is that they've gotten the money already. The money that they were promised, oh, here's $100, here's whatever. Uh, at least one of the people that won told me that. So I don't know if they've done it for every single winner yet, but they've at least started to roll that out, and the NFTs will be implemented in Phase 2. Uh, but but exactly, like you're going to have the NFTs from VVverse be able to display in that room, or vice versa. The Easter egg on there going to be uh, in your room in the VVverse. So either way, it'd be pretty fun. Okay, let's see, Bermuda, you're the man. Uh, Jack Mitchell says, Chavez, Chavez, Chavez. Oh, Richard Kiner. Okay, UFC rings. Yeah, so that's the other thing that you're probably going to have something similar in uh, the VV verse with Omi is you're going to be able to have, uh, again, they're not just going to be able to fight randomly like on uh, in people's, in people's, you know, galleries. They're going to probably have, like they, they are, they're vertically integrated. They have a marketplace. They're probably going to have a fight arena, a fight place. The same way that Earth 2 where they don't have, uh, there's a bunch of tiles that we're not going to be able to get. After a certain amount of tiles are bought, they're not going to have any, um, uh, then they're not going to be able to sell anymore. And those tiles that they're not selling are probably going to be for mini games, probably for Warring World or fighting, what have you. And, and that's going to be official stuff. You're going to have unofficial stuff that I'm going to put on. Like, again, boxing, I will totally do that. And if anyone wants to do that in real life, I will totally do that too. I'll fight. I'll fight anyone. I don't care. It's, it's fun. Uh, Fabulous Cameron says, "What? Uh, wait. What? VV is leaving. What? So the Go Chain that they're on, that they're using, uh, Dan, I think Dan Crothers or David Yoon or, or Reese. One of them had said that they are leaving the Go Chain, but that doesn't mean that they're like getting out of Omi. They're not. Omi is going to stay with them always. Omi is going to be. That is their. That is their coin. They need that. Um, so I think they're going to go on Ethereum." Uh, so don't worry about only the only thing I would worry about short term and very very slightly it's just on my radar I'm not worried is that I think May 11th or at some point this month some of the original investors that put in thousands of dollars tens of thousands of dollars and have been working for peanuts or next to nothing in the last few years are going to be able to liquidate some of their omi and at least a hundred of those people have a billion a, a billion omi or more um, that being said. 
they don't expect them to liquidate everything. Don't expect them to liquidate all of what they have. They're probably just going to liquidate a small amount, just enough to take some profit. And because you want them to have nice living conditions, you want them to be well rested. You, the last thing you want is the people that are working on this to be so stressed about money, about food, about rest. Like, let them liquidate what they need to liquidate so that they're comfortable, so they continue working, or they can continue working at that pace. The good thing about that is, again, short term, after that happens, I expect to see a little bit of a dip. I don't know how much. However much it is, though, I'm going to sell whatever I can. I'll sell my hair. I'll sell my clothes in order to buy that dip because that that is going to be one of the last times you're going to see it at that price, whatever it is. And it might not dip. At, at that point, when they say that they have more uh, exchanges that they're on, uh, it, it might even go up. They What is being sold can potentially just be absorbed. Um, I don't know how much they're going to sell, maybe a couple million dollars worth or several million dollars worth. I'll, I'll absorb some of it when I put in what I'm going to put in, but obviously if we need more people with that. Pokemon Talk, any recent sales? Yeah, actually. So I sold a Espeon first edition PSA 10 from Neo Discovery for I was like 38.50, I think. Um, I had sold, oh no, 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 that one I sold for 5,000. Uh, the guy paid in crypto, he was in Bitcoin, it was fantastic. Um, outside of that, other sales that we've seen is first edition PSA, oh, I'm sorry, uh, Blaine's Charizard first edition PSA 10 sold for about $6,700, not mine, I would not sell mine for that price. You're seeing a lot of WotC having a having a dip, a lot of first edition, no, Beza, all of them having a dip. What is not having a dip is Japanese. Japanese has been going through the roof because it's harder to get. Uh, modern, you see, it's so sporadic with modern because you have all these flippers, all these people that are trying to get in and they can buy things at Walmart. They can buy things at um, Target, and the Target or whatever will call the police because there's fights breaking out over them. So they uh, they just might not even do it anymore because all these people are buying, creating scarcity in the market, and then selling you know for fifty percent or even double. Uh, either way, it, it's not sustainable. The money that you're getting from that is just so that that's a temporary thing that people are going to try to do, and they'll make a couple of dollars with it, but. For long-term investing with Pokemon, I still say Watsy. First edition PSA, uh, 10 Hollows, those are going to be the best things for you. And e even, like, I hate, I get emotional selling my Pokemon cards right now, but I have to because of this huge potential with these disruptive industries like Earth 2, Omi, and, and, and Bitcoin. I just, we, I can't afford to, to not do that. Um, where I, I'm going to buy them back in the future, it'll just be uh, at, at a premium. So, um Oh, Adam Brum says, Randy, how's it going? Uh, how far am I behind on... All right, only four minutes behind on, on this. Uh, so Unequal asks us, hey, Legend, love your work. Just got my first 50,000 Omi. Congrats, uh, Unequal. That's amazing. I, I I don't know what your exact um, goal is, but whatever it is, keep it up. Keep going. I'm proud of you. That's a fantastic start so far. Uh, and then the Snoke Show says, what up? For those of you that don't know, the Snoke Show down there, he had interviewed me for Earth 2 a little bit. Um... Maybe like like a, like a couple weeks ago, and, and it was fun. I actually, uh, it was fun talking. We go over the origins of Dashi. We go over the amounts that uh, you know I, I put in for Earth Two and how I got started and all that. And it was like an origin story. It's pretty fun. Uh, so definitely go check him out. Subscribe to him. Look at that video. Uh, outside of that, we do have some news. If anyone has seen the financials for Fortnite, Fortnite says, okay, what's their biggest income as far as skins, as far as NFTs, whatever. And you're going to see their partners that are Marvel, that are Star Wars, all, all of these different partners that they have, VV already has. And again, Fortnite makes a butt ton of money. VV is going to make exactly the same, but I guarantee you a lot more because again, kids are into it. Older people like us, late 20s, early 30s are into it. Oh, King Tech Ops, what up, buddy? Um, Kai Anderson is the lucky 13. I says I keep using wrong account. Hello, <laughs> Randy. Oh, kick deck ops, dude. Um, but Snoke showed. Yeah, it does rock. Uh, Fanblins Camping says, "What's up, Tech?" Oh my God, I love it when my friends they all just uh, get together like that, which I which I can't wait to do. And uh, Viviverse might have something like that eventually. For the most part, I think it's just going to be kind of gambling when people fight their NFTs. It's just going to be that secondary market is going to be huge. The gambling that's going to take place, like I bet you. Bubbles beats Optimus Prime, or I bet you uh, Rainbow Dash beats Buttercup, you know, something from Hasbro, or you have G.I. Joe versus, you know, Jurassic Park. 
dragon, <laughs> not dragons, uh, dinosaurs, would be, which would be fun. Uh, but again, all those things in Earth too. I, I think, I forget her name, Care Bear or something, Bear, she, um, she follows me on Facebook. She says like, oh, I'm watching Ready Player One and I get it now. So both of these companies, the developers of Eeverse and developers of Earth 2, one of their inspirations, like a common denominator between them is that they both got inspired by Ready Player One. So uh, it's kind of a race to see who's gonna uh, finish it first, where it goes. Um, Earth 2 had a little bit of a head start, got started last year, and then uh, VV uh, came out well, they, out of beta, and they started dropping things, and then, oh my, who was that? The Snoke Show, $20, $20 drop. He's flexing right there. He's flexing. The Snoke Show, you are saying woohoo. Um, again, it was great being on, on your another called podcast video. Um, totally, I'll totally go on again. That was fun. Great, great conversation list as well. Um, but yeah, it'll be a race to see which one grows the fastest. And as far as potential for Earth 2 versus Omi, like I said, they're both in their own right. They're going to be in trillion dollar industries. And going back to the title of this, saying uh, what other things you could do as far as building passive income. I know we got way far away from that. Uh, another thing that you're going to be able to do as far as passive income outside of building something that you can rent out is going to be just renting out your tiles in general. Just you don't have to do anything. Someone says, hey, you're in a supreme location. You're in a place that uh, covers the beach or you're in a place that is in the Amazon, in the rainforest, wherever you are, someone is going to say, like, I want that. You have it. Let's make a deal. And for, as far as making a deal, I'm going to give you guys this is Patreon type money right here. This is knowledge I got from years of high risk lending and selling and a little bit of the military, too. Uh, <laughs> we got in trouble for gambling in the military once, but it's a long story. Anyway. Um, this is going to be the art of negotiation. Not exactly Trump's the art of the deal. Oh, I did read that book. It's actually very interesting. Um, this is going to be the art of getting someone to say yes or the art of negotiation. Basically, if you have something that they want, never take the first offer and also say, like, you know, come in high and then, you know, say, like, obviously you want to meet in the middle. Don't, don't come with, I think this is fair because then they're going to call you down and, and you're going to get... Uh, less than what you want. Let's say if you want to rent something for $20 a month and you say, all right, I'll rent this to you for $30 a month. It's like, oh, can I do it for five? It's like, I, I, I can't do five, but if I can do 25, will that work for you? They say, you know, 10, I, I can't do it. Like, I can't do it for 10. Uh, and they said, okay, well, listen, if I go, you know, another couple of points off, if I do $22 a month, is that something you can move forward with? They say, I, I do like 12 and, and let's say whatever you want it at. If you meet a 17, just keep asking them buying questions the same like if i can do that is that something you'd be able to move forward with or if i can do that will that work for you what if i go down to here and if you guys are at like kind of a stalemate again you, the, you at least want to get the deal done even if you're making not as much as you want if you're at 20 and they're at 15 and you say listen all right how far away are we from being able to get something done yeah how far away close the gap make them close and they say you know what if you could do it for 16 or 17, then I'll do it. And I said, okay, if I do that, well, are you ready to move forward today? Can you sign today? Can you make this agreement today? Whatever Earth 2 has. And that's what you have to do. Most people do not buy if they are only asked once. And a lot of people, what's going to happen, a lot of people only ask once and that's it. So you have to ask them three or four or five times before they buy. They have to feel like they're wooed. They have to feel like they're special. One of the things that... Uh, you kind of taught in the military is that everyone's got a weakness, whether it is alcohol, women, uh, power. Some people, all you need to do is buy them a free lunch. They will do whatever you want. They will they will give you all the intel you need on whatever it is that you're looking for. It's like, oh, yeah, I rent this place for this much. Somebody's selling that place for that much. And that's going to be the art of the deal. That's the art of getting someone to say yes to buying what you're offering. But on the opposite end, just do that in reverse if you're looking to rent someplace out that has the perfect place. Let's say they have a giant property they're not using. So like, listen, sir or madam, you know, whatever they are, right? I want to rent this out. You have a large property. You, probably, you have a bunch of other large properties that I know you have to take care of. Let me take care of this property for you. I'll mine everything for you every single day so that you get, uh, you know, a, a portion of that. You don't have to work. You're going to get that as residual income. And then I want to be able to rent this out for you. I'm going to increase the value of your property and whatever plans you have. I'm going to build this, this, or this. Other people are going to come in, and what they're going to do is 
we're going to start getting ad revenue, the both of us, because it's your property. Uh, again, this is going to be a symbiotic circle. I want this to work out because I want money, and you want it to work out because you want money. And then go in, going low. It's like, because of all that, because I'm getting you this, this, and this with my expertise and my following, uh, I, if I could rent it out for like $5 a month and then we split everything else, is that something that you'd be able to work with? And then when they say no, I, this is a large property, but for this, just go back and forth. It's like, you know, 10, 20. Uh, if they say no right away, like, no, like, don't insult me with that. It's like, okay, I didn't mean to insult you. I just meant this, this, and this. It would probably work out. Um, and then keep going just the opposite way. So I am behind on these messages. So let me say, uh, JP says, hey, Randy, been following for a while now. Uh, finally cashed out everything I got. You have 25 million owe me, JP. You did it. Balls to the wall. Am I in a ball pit right now? Because the balls are literally to the wall. That is fantastic. That is incredible, JP. You, you have 5x of what I have. I only have 5 million owe me. When I sell that big card, I know I've been talking about it for over a month, a couple months now, I, I will have probably almost as much as you, and uh, we're going to have a party. Again, I'm going to get an Omi tattoo when it reaches a dollar. My Earth 2 tattoo, I'm not sure the parameters of yet, although somebody is getting a, the real Randy Chavez tattoo somewhere, and they're, whoever's the first to get that and show me a picture that's real, video, whatever, they get a, they get a big giveaway. Um, but I, somebody, I think, is already making the appointment, so you're, you're, already, you're already lost on that. Again, the Snoke Show, thank you so much for that. Uh, 20 and Raythax, again, says, I will match super stickers and chats up to $100 for the next minute. Let's help take it. All right, you heard Raythax. He will match super stickers and chats up to $100 for the next minute. Go, go, go crazy, folks. Go crazy. I will moon you. No, I won't, but that's uh, that's incredible. If anyone wants to match that, that's, that's, uh, that's charity right there. That's that is free. Um, it's like donations. Um, when everyone says like, "Oh yeah, I'll match your donations." I remember Bob Hope uh, doing those things. Wow, Raythex, you, you mad lad, you absolute boss. Um, that's that's incredible. Con congrats, guys. That's um, one of my uh, one of the things that fills my heart with good feelings is those. But also just smashing that like button does as well. And I know it does. Again, no hard feelings. I'm gonna go back to comments. And if I get interrupted, then so be it. Uh, nice and Easy Ninja says, two nights in a row, do you still have Tesla stock? Uh, yeah, uh, 100%. I got uh, 188 shares. I will not um, I will not sell those. And Unaquil Ash says, oh, $5 there. Good for you, Unaquil Ash. Thank you, thank you. Unaquil Ash. Is it Uniqual or Unaquil? Unaquil Ash? I, I know I'm mispronouncing that. I'm so sorry. Um, but yeah, Tesla, as far as... Electric vehicles, if if I wasn't investing in OMI, Earth 2, or Bitcoin, I, I would just be buying more Tesla stock. I, I would just be buying more Tesla stock because that is, again, that's going to 10x by 2030. They're the clear winners in electric vehicle space, and not even including autonomy. Autonomy is another thing that is just, uh, that they're just murdering in. And outside of that, they're going to have, like I said, the energy storage, the battery storage is going to be just as big as their car business. The... Ride hailing, the ride hailing business is worth a trillion, multiple trillions of dollars by itself, and Tesla's going to take a big piece of that, a big, big piece of that. Um, Quad Shoto says, kind of off topic, though, but do you ever deal with matted hair? I'm a male with long hair, and mom's not around. Maybe change of weather causing this. Uh, I don't deal with matted hair. Um, the weird thing that I, a lot of girls I talk to, guys I talk to, whatever, they say they wash their hair a couple times a week like once or twice a week. If I let my, if I don't wash my hair for more than two days, it is the greasiest, most disgusting thing in the world. It is like, you do not want to um, look at me if I have that. So I, I wash it pretty much every day. Sometimes I'll skip a day, but yeah, like I, I have to, because if I don't, it just, it gets so gross and greasy and it gets thin and it gets just, ugh. But washing it just it doesn't it, it, it helps. Um, but I don't deal with matted hair. I don't I don't have that. Thank God. Uh, ooh, King Tech Cop says use spray conditioner. He's he's coming in there with the he knows. But Charlie says thanks. I also heard of apple cider vinegar. I haven't heard that yet, or I haven't done that yet. So um, I've heard a bunch of different things. I, I I just haven't really used it. Just head and shoulders, and then shampoo and you know whatever. Um, and then all right. So Raythax matched unequal ash for that five. Thank you guys for that. Y'all are the best. Um, 
Ivan the Terrible says, I need your non-financial advice. Any thoughts on taking out four or so thousand of Ethereum gains to pick up another Riso? When you say Riso, Riso, um, oh, wait, yeah, well, c comment down what Riso is again, um, because I am slightly confused with that. Um, and Crystal Poindexter says, congratulations to the owner of that $25 million Omi. Uh, that was the best. And JP says, to party with you, heck yeah. Uh, Wraith says TikTok. <laughs> All right, so I believe that is over right now. The uh, Wraith Axe is no longer matching the um, uh, Super Chat, so until next time. Uh, Christian Velasco says, greetings from Monterey, Mexico. Best chat. Oh, thank you so much, Christian Velasco. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Um, first, you're Batman. <laughs> Jacob Sutmaring, thank you. Uh, so the one of the other ways to build passive income in Earth 2, outside of renting your land, outside of... Uh, renting the the space that your land is in like not just your land but you're building something and renting the building and then omi staking which we know we're going to do is going to be it is going to be ad revenue it's going to be foot traffic so that's something you can do multiple different ways you can build a game i don't know if that's something you're going to have to code or you're going to have to do whatever with but the game that you're building is going to be it could be very simple it could be flip cup it could be something along the lines of uh Quarters. If anyone knows that, just you bounce a quarter into a shot glass. Bounce a quarter. Bounce a quarter. Bounce a quarter. Uh, again, the first to market is going to get a large audience, and they're going to be like one of the first. Oh, you were one of the first to do that. You can't take that away. No one can take that away from you. If you are the first to do something, no, no one's going to take that away. So, uh, I 100% I believe that all of these uh, people that are going to the creative people are going to do that. It's going to be like Mario Maker. Mario Maker. You can make your own levels. Other people can play it. The Impossible Game, anyone remember that? Where you have to boop, boop. Like, uh, I think PewDiePie has played a bunch of that. Uh, that type of thing is going to be fun. And challenging, yes. Don't make it so challenging that it's impossible. Uh, but make it so that people win once in a while. And if people are just winning consistently, then change it up. Make it even more challenging. Um, but you're going to get ad revenue. The foot traffic and the ad revenue, I don't know if they're going to be two different things. Because uh, the more people that are on Earth 2 in general, I, I feel like the more ad revenue would help. But again, if you're go if it doesn't have to be a game, it could be a kissing booth, it could be advice, it could be financial advice. Although I think there might be some laws around the financial advice part. Um, it could be tailoring cosplays. It could be saying like, or again, just shops, just something that you could make a million of with the resources. But people like it the way you design it or whatever. That's going to be something that you're going to be able to go and make a million of. And if you sell them for a dollar each, that's a million dollars. That's heckin' nuts. And again, resources are going to be pretty unlimited, or you can mine them. They're not saying every day or every week or whatever. They didn't give us a time frame, but oh, that's the other thing. Selling resources, I didn't even mention that. Selling resources is going to be, if you have them every day, even if you get one penny per one tile, sell back to the game or whatever. Uh, and that's not even including the coins. That's not including the tokens. Oh my, there's so many ways to make money. And, and there is more ways right now with the VVverse, or there will be. Right now, we just know of the staking that we're going to be able to do with omi but outside of that you're probably going to have yeah you're probably going to have fights so not to bring i don't want to bring dog fighting because that's uh in the veterinary field that i was in every once in a while you would see um you'd see animals that were victims of dog fighting rings and you get to know okay well if you won three fights then you're a champion if you won five fights five fights you're you're a grand champion and i think just using that model is going to be something similar with uh with the NFT fights, whether it's Street Fighter or G.I. Joe or Shrek. Shrek and Donkey recreating that whole wrestling scene from the first Shrek will be heckin' awesome. But you're gonna see, oh, there's one three fights, one five fights, one ten fights, whatever it is, it's gonna be uh, bananas. People are gonna make a whole lot of money in the secondary market. I really hope they they kind of steer it away from that, though, because I feel like some fights are gonna be thrown and stuff. But a anyway, that that's in the future. Christian Blesco says, greetings from Monterey, Mexico. Oh, thank you, thank you. Uh, yes, yes, I, sorry, I read that already. Uh, Riso is the first ultra-rare Batman. Okay, so that's what... It depends on the serial number, Jacob, because um, that, that's what you meant, the first you are Batman, ultra-rare. So Ethereum, let's say it goes 10 grand by the end of the year. Let's say you triple your money. Riso, long-term, I, I don't know enough about Ethereum to say where it's going to go, but I know it with collectibles... It might take 10 or 20 years for that to reach first ultra rare. I don't know. Oh, that could be tens of thousands, if not 
if not a hundred thousand dollars at some point uh again right now nobody's in this there's only a couple hundred thousand people um so it don't expect it to go up right away but when big money and collectors get in this and they will especially in the future um in the future you're gonna have kids right now but right now it's something for k to a kids to adults parents e for everyone parents are buying this for their kids they're doing it together and if you think that in 20 years that 10 year old kid that has these great memories with their dad and i know it's going to happen like there's going to be those stories like i remember doing this with my dad when i was 10 unfortunately my dad passed away when i was 15 or whatever blah blah blah, blah. and then they'll say like i i have i want that batman because i had i sold that batman but i want him because of the memory that it brought with me and my dad they're going to go and they're going to spend their adult money and they're going to pay tens of thousands not hundreds of thousands for it i guarantee it but again it depends on the serial number i don't know how many ultra rares that batman had minted uh but if you have you know top 100 uh, whatever that that's yeah that's gonna be huge um i don't i don't know if it's possible to get number ones or if that's one that uh developers keep for themselves i don't know um what about unity v unity 5 i'm not 100 percent sure i don't think i know really what unity v or unity 5 is let me know joe joe don ivan Taro says yep the first ultra rare batman unity v oh unity v are inside vv and earth 2. oh that could be interesting um again i think all of these people will cooperate at some point eventually i'm gonna so i think all of these people are gonna go and say hey we what i think it's epic games also, if anyone knows, comment down below about the Epic Games versus Apple, or Epic v. Apple. It has, they have um, a, a lawsuit uh, that they're trying to fight uh, for, like, a monopoly, I guess. I, I haven't gone too much into it. I should tomorrow. I, I should have already. I, I just haven't. Um, I hope the government doesn't get involved. I really don't like them being involved in things, but we'll see what happens. Um, Snoke says, I didn't see that comment. Snoke, which one are you talking about? Uh, Ren Earth2 Invest says, Randy, I messaged you on Twitter, DM me your Switch friend code, man. Oh, um, I should be able to, I'll put that up on one of my next uh, live streams. And I really have to check Twitter DMs. I, I get so many DMs everywhere, but I will Earth2 Invest, I promise. Uh, actually, we're, we are way past, uh, no, no, we're not, never disregard. Uh, Alex says, morning, bro, I just woke up at 7 a.m. in Dubai, coffee and Omi videos, the breakfast of champions. Alex, I actually mentioned you uh, to my friend Lilith today. My friend Lilith lives in Austria, and she comes to the U.S. when she can. I go there when she can. We haven't been able to last year because of the uh, pandemic. I was like, oh, yeah, so I have uh, this guy, Investor Ali, and this guy, Alex, that they want me to go and uh, visit them in Dubai when he reaches a dollar. She's like, oh, can I come? I'd love to go. I haven't. And, and uh, she's got the you know Austrian accent. Uh, she's great. She's fun. So uh, you might be able to meet her. Um, outside of that, as far as more passive, uh, not passive, aggressive, uh, passive and residual income is concerned outside of games and outside of, uh, building those shops, this is something where if you set up something stupid, like I remember seeing on Reddit, click here to go to a website and the website is pay a dollar to see how many other people paid a dollar and you can do it. You can pay a dollar just to see, and people are so curious about that stuff. People are gonna do that forever. So you can set that up and that'll go on to your kids. I'll go on to your kids, I'll go on to your grandkids. My throat is hurting, excuse me. I'm so sorry about that. Uh, that that's one of the big things that I love about the, I guess that's similar to the generational wealth video I did about being able to go in and say, hey, my, my dad made this. And if, again, if your kids want to go do something else, they want to do something in Earth One, that's 100% fine. Uh, but virtual reality, I, I think, is where everything is headed. Even if people don't know it yet, if you're going to have these these chads or these um, you know the popular people that are all grown up that just don't know anything about it because it's they weren't into Lord of the Rings, they weren't into uh, Magic the Gathering or Pokemon. They're too 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 cool for it. Uh, they're going to be the last ones in there, and and they're going to miss the boat. They're going to get their lunch eaten, and they're going to be one of those people that are going to message you on Facebook. Hey, join my new multi-level marketing thing, um, where we're just uh, uh, gonna be huge. Uh, more comments. I'm gonna see what we got here. Ty Anderson says, "Dot Alex is 100%. Hell yeah, heck yeah." How I made says, "Sup, sup, Randy. Hit the like, guys. Oh, thanks. How I made is best. Yeah, we get 25 likes. That'd be great." Uh, Ty Anderson says, "Brother, take three days off. You're good." 
<laughs> um, I, I don't know if I, I, I want to take any time off. I, I like streaming. I like, um, this is, and I even told my girlfriend, I was like, hey, babe, so don't, uh, uh, if you call between these hours or these hours, morning or night, I'm streaming now. Um, and then I, I guess my plan is just every, every Friday or every Saturday, whenever I'm with her, is we're going to have a big meal and we're going to uh, have a little bit to drink. I'm going to put her on the couch. Watch her fall asleep, and then we're gonna stream. Cause Saturdays are for the boys, right? Who's with me? So, uh, Earth Two giveaways. What's up, Randy? Oh, what's up, Earth Two giveaways? If you want free tile, all right. So free tile time. Uh, free tiles. Follow Earth Two giveaways. They give away free tiles each video. Guidebook Gaming gives away Class One free tiles every stream. They're on Twitch. That link is down below. I of course give free tiles away in my videos. I I usually give a description and I'll say like, what's your favorite type of. Uh, Candy bar, I think, was the last one. Uh, or what's your favorite? Peanut butter, country or smooth, or whatever. And then whichever one I like, I like, and I mention in the next video, oh, here's a free tile. So, again, that, that's free. That is literally free. Uh, more residual income for Earth 2. You're going to have something along the lines of uh, buying and selling resources. Some people are going to make, some people are going to flip. Some people are going to say, like, hey, you have a, you have a tile. There's gonna be people that don't that come into this late and don't know. They say like, "Oh, this tile isn't giving me any resource. Let me get rid of it." And then somebody says, "Oh, that doesn't give you a resource. Done. They'll pay five x what you paid for it because that resource is gonna be so valuable." Uh, and that's something that'll give you residual income. Just that one rare resource, which there's gonna be multiple of. There's gonna be multiple of those. There's gonna be multiple of resources. Is gonna be similar to NF the NFTs of uh, VV War is gonna be. Oh, these resources are abundant. These are not so abundant. These are rare. These are super rare. That type of deal. Um, if I had, let's say, a billion dollars right now, and I had all the, I would just continue. I would buy the lowest serial numbered NFTs from VV because in the future, and I'll just leave them to. Uh, I don't have kids, but somebody else's kids, <laughs> like my friend's kids or whatever, because that that's going to be huge. Uh, Realm World says, "How many tiles do I need to get started on Earth 2? Technically, you don't need any tiles to play the game. You're gonna go on and be able to mine on other people's places, but you really just need one. Uh, link down below is Chavez Topia. Chavez Topia is the one where you have a um, is Antarctica. It's my mega city. It's like a dollar sixty-five to get in, and you just need one tile. Um, and then if you want to, you know, farm more resources, go to another place. Either buy more tiles in Chavez Topia, or go to another place where it's like sixty cents a tile, and then bring those resources and essence over to. Uh, to Chavisopia, and then that, that, that's all you need. You're going to be able to mine on other people's properties, so that'll be fun. Um, Pokey99 says, VR Pokemon or sports cards openings with the pulls being NFTs. That could be interesting. Uh, Earth, I'm um, sorry, not Earth 2. VV is going to have uh, packs as well. Uh, they have another drop this Thursday from, I didn't even know what it was, Cryptkins or something like that. I don't know if it's like a Keeper of the Crypt or, you know, dead people like Goosebumps. I don't know what it is. But that drops on Thursday, and I'm going to try to get some. I don't know what I'm going to get, but I'm going to try it. Um, outside of that, there's not going to be much else. They, they have said, Dan Carlos said, that they're going to start doing drops two times a week, one on Tuesday, one on Thursday. And it's going to be something completely different. Like, they have, G, they have GM, all those cars, so it's not going to be car, 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 you know, for two weeks in a row. Uh, they're going to have, okay, well, here's a Hello Kitty one. Here's a uh, Tony Stark one, because, you know, they have Marvel. Uh, here is a Crypt Keep one. Here's a Transformers one. That's what they're going to do. They're going to do something along the lines of something different each time they do a drop, so that this way none of their fans feel alienated, saying, like, well, I've been waiting forever for Star Trek, and it just you've done nothing but Batman drops the first, um, you know, the last month. No, they're going to do something completely different. Uh, that does pose a small problem for collectors that want every DC one, let's say, uh, they want Green Lantern, but they have to wait through Wonder Woman, uh, which is one week's DC drop. And then two weeks later, um, you know, they have a uh, another Green Lantern, but instead of Hal Jordan, it's, uh, I forget who the black one was in uh, Justice League and Justice League Unlimited, the animated series. Uh, and then they have a uh, Ultron one from Marvel. That's another comic book one. And, and then they don't have Green Lantern for like a year. It's like, okay, well, you're, you're, you're screwed. You can't get a complete set really that way. Um, oh man, alright uh, you make me want to look into Earth 2 but I feel like my investment tied into Omi oh, uh, so Realm World, yeah, Earth 2 I invest in both uh, as often as I can 
all of a sudden I'm adding a few times a week. That's great. If Whatever your goal is, whatever you feel comfortable with, buy, buy what you like. The same advice that I have here is the same advice I have in Pokemon. Buy what you like and then branch out afterwards. Most people, what they do, as far as Pokemon, they buy what they grew up with, whether it was base set, whether it was something in the third generation. And they buy Gold Stars, they buy Mudkip, because they like Mudkip. And then they say, oh, let me get Mudkip's evolutionary line. And then they go to Gold Stars. What other sets are Mudkip in? And all that. And, and then it branches off from there. So the same way with investing in, okay, well, Omi, it's a crypto, and I know it because the real Randy Chavez explains it to me. He explains like I'm five, explains like I'm Homer Simpson, and it's easy to, easy to understand. But then he talks about Earth 2, so let me go into that and see, like, well, I could buy a couple of tiles and get resources, but really what they're doing, what maybe in the future, the real thing is going to be their crypto. The real thing is going to be their in-game currency, and then you want to buy that. That's 100% okay, too. Um, but definitely fulfill your goals first, and after that, then, then branch out. Then go crazy. Uh, Famblin's Camping says, did you hear anything about Omi Burn last week? I did not hear anything about Omi Burn last week. Um, I, I know they're up, they burned like 3.7 billion Omi at this point so far, which is it's a nice amount. Uh, Earth 2 Giveaway said, I'm surprised Omi did not jump after the announcement. Um, yeah, that's, that's the other thing and why we're very lucky on getting in here this early because you have Omi coming in at all of these catalysts, all of these major catalysts that should be pushing the price up for the price of trading sideways. I've said this before, I feel like I'm a broken record saying the longer the base, the bigger the breakout. And part of it, why it's not going up is because they're not on enough exchanges. They're on like two exchanges right now. And that, that's it. It's hard to buy. It's a Chinese company. Some people, whether it's racist or they just feel that they're, they're going to be hacked, they don't, they don't do it. Um, and, and then also that threat, not threat, the fact that they're going to liquidate some of their other, the original investors are going to liquidate some of their investment because they deserve to. And people are like, oh, no, it's going to crash, it's going to crash. And it might dip, and it might not. Um, I do expect it to dip a little bit. I hope it does so I can buy a hell of a lot more. But that's the thing. You, the short-term investor uh, or the short-term flipper, that's how you can tell. Short-term flipper, they buy it one day, they expect to be rich uh, in like two months or three weeks, and they freak out if, it, if their investment goes down. But if you believe in something long-term, it doesn't matter what happens. I was buying Tesla down here, and up here, and down here again, and up here again. That's what I was doing with Tesla, because I believe in it long term. That's what I did with Pokemon. Doesn't matter if it was a buyer's market, or if it was just a, uh, or if it was a seller's market. Right now, depending on what you are, uh, it's a buyer's market for Watsi, first edition PSA 10 hollows. But it's a, it's a seller's market if you have a bunch of Japanese stuff. If you have promos, anything with fundamentals, like trophy cards, Something that where there's absolute rarity and they don't, can't print anymore. Limited release. Uh, any type of Japanese promo crossover. That Mario Pikachu one is ridiculous. Um, same thing with Earth 2. People, instead of making, you know, like the 100% every week on their money that they were making in the beginning, it's like, well, my money is really only going up like 5% a month. That is still really good. That's 60%. That, uh, again, that's a long term if you believe in it. You don't care if it only if it goes up like this, if it goes up like this, or even if it loses value. So, yeah, that's uh, that's just it's my opinion. If you believe in something long term, keep at it. Uh, oh, Numskull nine nine nine. He says meow. So Numskull nine nine nine. I used to serve with in the uh, military. He was a uh, one of my first not my first supervisor. My first supervisor was this one guy. I'll call him Woody. Who was a thirty year staff sergeant in the Air Force. For those of you that don't know. Staff Sergeant in the Air Force is relatively easy to make. And when I say that, like, if you don't make Staff Sergeant after eight years now, they kick you out. Where I, I, I was supposed to, I didn't even test for it. Uh, I was deployed in the year that I was supposed to test. And then when I got back, I just got out. I was like, yeah, I'm not testing. But, but, but that year, like, they had like a 56% uh, passing rate. So I definitely would have made it. Um, but the idea that um, oh yeah, I'm, I'm sorry. So he was my second supervisor. Was the absolute mad lad. I loved him. I still love him. I love. I love you, Numskull. <laughs> in my bay. Uh, or to give voices nation by what you're interested in, uh, it will allow you to have a higher level of focus, intermixing better decisions, and putting more mental effort into projects. Hundred percent. Ramos says thanks. Yeah, he said investing. 
Alex, did you see the interview with Dan Crothers when he said that they have yet to be rejected by any license they want to get? I'm glad you brought that up. He said, surely this means they have Pokemon Disney. Sorry if you covered this before. Uh, I haven't yet. I was going to save that for a separate video, but we're here all night. We're here all night. So they have said in the past, prior to what Alex, what I just wrote for Alex, they said that, yeah, we want Pokemon. We want this. Like they said that in the past, like months or years ago. And then they just came out in an interview and said, there hasn't been a license yet that we wanted and haven't got. So I was like, oh, so they have, we we know they have Pokemon because they have Alfred Khan. We know they have Marvel uh, because they, they they announced it on the on the stream. Mm -hmm. They they showed the picture with Marvel in there. So uh, Disney, God, that's going to be huge. Those, like I said, I'm I'm all in with this. I'm literally selling my prized Pokemon card, which I killed myself to get last year, for Omi Bitcoin Earth Two. Um, and, and the beautiful thing is that I expect Omi to have a little dip in may when the original investors uh take a piece of profit so that's great i oh god i hope it goes down to like point hope it goes down to like 0.001 no, it won't it'll probably do 0 0.005 maybe um and, and then most of that's going to get absorbed um most of that is going to get absorbed by people like me uh or like investor ali or alex or predict uh they're, they're all they're all crazy they're all mad lads and mad lasses with that uh Unequal Ash says, hey, Randy, have you seen the not-so-mega-city Mortal Kombat Mountain? Something I started for the MK nuts of Mortal Kombat stuff, such as myself. I feel free to buy a tile and build your own combat arena. Oh, that's really cool. I haven't I haven't seen that, uh, but I'll, I'll definitely I'll, I'll definitely check that out. And thank you again, Unequal Ash, for that um, that uh, super chat before. Um, so, Alex, the uh, what that means as far as licensing, I still think they won't tell anyone that they have... Pokemon until either end of the year or early next year because I don't think they want to get too much hype into it I think they want to be able to grow slowly which they are so I'm I'm hundred percent on board with whatever they think is uh, Is relevant or, or or is good for them uh, Omi is coming to Binance or two giveaways. I believe they will uh, I believe they're gonna do that by the end of the year um, Latest is next year, but it's possible you get it by June because they said they have four four indexes coming four more exchanges coming in the next couple of months Possibly you get that by January, February, March. If, yeah, probably by the end of Q2. And that would actually be really cool if they got that. Most likely what will happen is they'll announce the Binance, and that's when they'll sell, and that's when you know it'll get absorbed, so it won't affect the price. What would be great is if they, if they sell all the original investors so that it dips a little bit. We buy the dip, and then it gets listed on Binance, and boom! As soon as it does that, expect to see a 3 or $0.04 cent price range. Uh, I believe it should be there now uh, I, because of all the license that they have, all the hints that they promised, all the hints that they've hinted at suggest that they have Pokemon, suggest that they have Disney, suggest that they have all this. Um, yeah, it's, I'm, I'm so happy that we're able to get in right now. Um, Frankie Boy says, Omi dropping again, time to buy. Heck yeah, heck yeah. Uh, <laughs> Konzo says, Randy fucking Chavez, my man. Uh, how the heck are you? I'm I'm doing well, Konzo. I had a um, fantastic start of this. I was like two minutes in, and Raythax drops like a fifty dollars super chat. I was like, oh my god, what a what a mad lad! Um, and and then that just spawned everyone doing everything. And we we've had good conversations so far, going over Pokemon, going over Tesla, going over staking of Ethereum, going over Earth Two uh, passive income. It's been a crazy night so far, and we're keeping it going. Alex says he also said Disney was the biggest licensor in the world. Heck yeah. Um, so, Pokemon or Disney? What's going to be bigger? I don't know. You you have all these groups of people, again, people that love Disney, like of all ages. And most of the people at Pokemon really kind of capped at age 40. The people that like it that are in their 50s usually probably liked it because their kids liked it when they were younger and they kept with it. Um, but for the most most part, it's like late 20s, early 30s. And even now, kids... I, I see it now more popular than it was in the 90s because in the 90s it was just kids but now it's kids and adults and and everyone uh and, and it's more optimized now you have more people talking about it online into a camera this wasn't happening in the 90s it wasn't even happening in the early 2000s you couldn't youtube was youtube didn't exist yet so the fact that this is happening all of this growth whether it's omi whether it's earth 2 because it's it's happening because of people like us because we're talking in cameras we're all talking to everyone it's not just talking on the playground anymore with people saying like oh 
uh, Mew, I think it's under the truck. And then meanwhile, somebody finally says, like a fifth grader, like, no, actually, this is what you gotta do. You gotta go get an Abra, you gotta go talk to this guy, you gotta use Abra's teleport, and, and then you have to go fight someone in Misty's gym, and that's how you get Mew. Um, after you go walk up the Nugget Bridge again. And you, you just, um, it, it's different now. You, you can't put that toothpaste back in the tube after it's gone. Everyone's talking about Pokemon, everyone's talking about Omi. And, and again, it, we're still early, not everyone is yet. The biggest Omi people I see are me and Cavell Anderson, Earth 2 Mastery, and a couple of others that, that, that tried, but we, we're the biggest. And for Earth 2, it's me on YouTube, along with Ari Realty, the Bowl Combo, British Guy Dorkslay I haven't seen in a while. But then on Twitch, you have the, the behemoths, you have Nameless and Tech Ops from Guidebook Gaming. The, those guys are those guys are savage. They stream every single night. I just started streaming on YouTube. They have been streaming on Twitch for a long time. I've been making videos on YouTube since December, but they started streaming on Twitch one hour every night. So I'm hopefully I'm, I'm gonna, gonna catch up with, with streaming to them. Um, moving on, Curtain55 says, Yo, bro, I have 20,000. What should I chuck that in? I am Diamond Hands. Well, I don't know if you have 20,000 extra. Let's say if I had 20,000 extra that I was okay with losing, okay with it going to zero. Uh, I, I'm going to do the unpopular thing, and, and, and I would split. I'd do 5K in Tesla, 5K in Bitcoin, 5K in Omi, and then I would save 5K for Earth 2 when when their cryptocurrency comes out. Uh, and then most likely, Omi will go quick. I don't know. No, I think Omi will grow quickest until Earth 2 says what cryptocurrency they're using, and then that's going oh, to skyrocket. That's going to go, oh, my God. The amount of people that are restless in the Earth 2 community waiting for something to do, they're just going to, even if they don't even think it's a good investment anymore, they're going to buy in just because they're bored. There are, oh my God. Um, yeah, they're restless. It's like, it's like soldiers, you know, the night before battle, like, you, you know, they're, they're, they're drinking their rippets. They're drinking their, um, you know, they're taking pictures of scorpions. They're, they're doing what they can to like calm the nerves. It's, uh, they're itchy. They're, they're ready to go. Um, Curtan Fido says, I chucked 5k in Earth 2 already. Okay, so then then I would say, yeah, I would say then 10k, I would say 13k Omi, I would say 5k Bitcoin, no, no, all right, 8k Omi, 5k Bitcoin, 5k Tesla, and then keep another bit for Earth 2's actual uh, currency. If you have, if you have 5k worth of tiles, that's great, save a few for the actual currency. Um, you are my rich dad. Oh, Curtan, thank you, thank you so much. Uh, again, if that's if that's twenty grand that you never expect to see again, then by all means do it. Um, but again, these are all long term things for me, long term holds. Everything I have is a long term hold. The only thing I don't have that's a long term hold, this apartment maybe, my my car, which I'm going to get a cyber truck next year. Uh, I have a I have a I have a Honda Civic, so that's, but that's like twenty twelve. I don't really have anything this short term. Everything I have is long term. Um, hopefully the girlfriend. Uh, to Toad Dally Awesome, that Toad Alley Awesome says it's crazy how crypto makes people millionaires. Yeah, this is. Uh, there's crypto billionaires, crypto millionaires, and, and we're gonna be it. We are the next generation of crypto millionaires. Um, I, I I'm a little salty that I didn't get to retire at 29, become millionaire at 29. Um, yeah, so I can get that 30 under 30. Um, but I, I started late. I didn't go into the military until I was 22. I didn't get out until I was 26. And then I spent a semester at, at a community college before I started my businesses. Um, if I had done the military at 18, gotten out at 22, and then just started business from there, yeah, I'd probably be a millionaire. But when I started, uh, when I was 26 in my first business, I put it all together and I thought I could be a millionaire by 40. <laughs> Um, not knowing anything, I, I not really getting into Tesla until later, and then not knowing really, really getting into Pokemon until later as well. You know, I accelerated that, and then now with this, I before Bitcoin and uh, Omi and and Earth Two, I thought, all right, yeah, I could do it by like thirty five, thirty six millionaire. But then with all these, like, oh no, I'll do it in a couple of years, and then now I, I think it's possible by the end of the year because of these uh, which is incredible and all I think investor Ali predict and Alex I think y'all are millionaires already uh, I'm almost positive uh, Curtain Five says facts crypto is OP I made some decent money buying some doge at three cents oh nice you did it right 
Good job, man. Good job. Bamboo's Camping says, I had someone tell me about Omi today, unrelated to E2 or this channel. Word is getting out. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Heck yeah. Um, R8 says, yeah, my younger cousin mentioned it to me. Omi now. I'm hooked to. Oh my God. Look at her But Oh, it is an hour, so we're going to go to the Patreon list again. What should I say? Um, mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Few times I've been around that track, so it's not just gonna happen like that. Cause I ain't no holler back girl. I ain't no holler back girl. Few times I've been around that track, so it's not just gonna happen like that. Happy hour, everybody. Uh, we've been here for a while. Let's keep it going. Uh, Ty Anderson says, plain and simple, friends. E2. E2. Uh, J Rock Dub. Oh, J Rock, how's it going? Says, do you believe in Earth 2's VR future? If so, how far away do you think we are from that? Any additional thoughts? I think that's something that we could do pretty much do right away. Um, as soon as they have buildings done in Earth 2 and they're able to build, and yeah, you can go in, you can stream. I think people can probably do that already, but um, will they be on Oculus Quest or Facebook, whatever Facebook has, whatever it's called now? Sure. Will they come out with something of their own? Possibly. Uh, but that's going to be something they're going to want to get in, get in as soon as possible. Just because, again, that's where the future is. Virtual reality, augmented reality. You see augmented reality already with NFTs uh, from Vivi, but I, I'm, I'm still 100% on board. I would say it really comes into... We, we have to wait for it to... The cost of the virtual reality to come down. Because right now, it's still, it's still out of reach for some people. It's a couple hundred dollars, which, based on the numbers that we're talking about, doesn't sound like much, because people are putting in five and six figures into crypto, so a couple hundred dollars doesn't seem like much, but... If you have a family that's struggling to, you know, have ga put gas in their car and, you know, $200 maybe for Christmas, maybe. Um, maybe one of those things in the future, I'll, I'll do like a giveaway. Um, what, when Earth 2 is on the virtual reality spectrum, when they're on the, oh, they're, they're on different apps, they're on different virtual reality stores, uh, I'll, I'll go and, and, and do a giveaway with that. But once that, co that cost is going to continue coming down, Every six months or a year or so, that cost is going to have, and instead of three hundred dollars, going to be hundred fifty dollars. When it gets under hundred dollars, yeah, you're going to see you're going to see a lot of it, and that that comes with already a couple games already. So, uh, I'm very very bullish on it. Investor Ali says, "Haha, you're learning about crypto and blockchain related stuff now. You are destined for greatness. We are still very early. This is the start of a revolutionary decade. Yeah, and that's the thing I mentioned in my stream this morning. Most of us are still all very young." I think Alex is 43, and I know if you're 20 and you're watching this, like, 43 is not young. 43 is old AF. And I, I get it. When I was young, when I was in my teen years, I thought 30 was old. But I, I'm going to tell you what I told my uh, listeners this morning, is that you don't know how young you're going to feel at 30. I feel like a teenager still. I, 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 po I bought Pokemon Snap. I've been playing Pokemon Snap for a good part of the day. You don't know how young you're going to feel. You'd be surprised how, how good, like, I, there's not much difference from me now than it was when I was, you know, 16. I gained a little weight, and I got, got a bit of a beard, and I lost some hair, but for the most part, I, I feel the same. And friend Alex in there, he just says, like, yeah, I'm 43, and I still feel like I'm in my 20s. So I, I, you're as old as you feel, but take care of yourselves. You know, don't, don't eat, uh, like, poop all the time. Uh, you know, drink a lot of water, eat a lot of vegetables, a lot of vegetables. Speaking of which, hydrate, guys. Hydrate is good for you. Uh, Explode says, what do you think about Dogecoin? Um, I think it might hit another all-time high on Saturday when Elon Musk hosts Saturday Night Live. Um, you can't stake with it. You can't make NFTs with it. The, the creator said it was, it was made as a joke, but... Um, Elon Musk loves memes. He loves memes, and so do I, and so do everyone else, and that man is like a a magnate for crazy business stuff. Um, I don't even know if he, I'm sure he does have Doge. He definitely has Bitcoin, uh, but this is something where it, it could go to 50 cents uh, on Saturday. I'm not going to buy it, though. I'll, I'll never buy it um, just because I, I don't believe in it long term. That's why. Not that I don't believe in Elon Musk, or I don't believe that, but I just don't believe in it long term, and that's what I always go for. Maybe that's a, that's a fault of mine. I've missed out. On, there was a thing called ENZC, called Enzolytic, so Echo, November, Zulu, uh, Charlie, and 
a friend told me to get in when it was six tenths of one penny. And within two months later, it shot up to like 90 cents. So it shot up 100x in a couple of months. Then it went down to about 60 cents, 50 cents. But um, I didn't get in because I didn't believe the company long term. It was trading like a stock and I knew like a real stock, even though it was a penny stock. And it, w I knew it was going to go up and I should have. But I was, I was getting in. I was trying to pay off that Pokemon card. I was getting into Earth 2 and I missed it. Uh, so I guess one of my faults is short term, I, I, I miss out on a couple things. Uh, so you think you can just jump in and live? Jump in and live? J-Rock? Well, um, well, yeah, I always jump in and I go live. Alex says, I literally put everything I have into Omi. I was a millionaire from 2017 bull run, but I rode it all the way down in 2018 and didn't sell anything. That's important. Uh, this is why I will definitely take profits this time around. That's great. Um, yeah, so good. Good for you. Yeah, take that profit and... Um, it never went broke from taking a profit. Uh, I have an issue with that because I, I just don't sell. Um, in hindsight, you know, uh, vision is twenty twenty, but I, I just don't sell. Um, maybe I should. Maybe I'll start to implement. I don't know. You've awakened my eyes, Alex. Realmore says people are spending seven hundred plus for PS Five. That's true, but many aren't. Be just because they, you know, it's, it, it's hard. Alex said I have. Uh, I learned having diamond hands is easier when you have cash in the bank and don't need to sell. That's also true. That's why I'm not investing my entire 150, uh, my entire 350 that I'm getting from that card. I need 50 grand just just to pay bills, just to do whatever. Because, um, I, I mean, streaming might at some point, and and YouTube might if I get if I get bigger. But for the most part, I don't really have income anymore. Um, all the income that I have that that my aging receivables that I'm collecting from the business is going into either omi earth 2 or bitcoin so those three things uh and and then just rent bills um so so i actually don't like like i said i keep and, and i'll get into it on, on another stream why i keep my account very very low um just because it's um it's difficult sometimes um there Rock says and what do you think of the pick i made the pick let me uh refresh my memory on the pick uh, Xbox says, also, what do you think about these coins that people are making their own and others are falling for it? Well, just because someone makes a coin doesn't mean it's inherently a scam. But like I said, most NFTs that are going to be made when people started getting into it, they're making NFTs of sweatshirts and NFTs of whatever. Yeah, no, th those are going to most those are going to be worthless, especially if they're made on Ethereum because of those gas fees. Uh, in, in that same breath, most of these coins that are being made are, are going to be worthless. But every once in a while they're gonna be a lot like i've had an inkling i have an idea my friend cameron messaged me and said hey you should make a randy chavez coin or a dashy coin and my girlfriend actually came up with a good name calling it dash cash I was like oh that'd be great and then use the proceeds of it to um you know buy wilderness areas and all that because that that's my that's my goal anyway is, is at some point it's gonna buy wilderness areas save animal species but I don't know how to do it. I don't know how much it costs. I I want it to be something useful. I want it to be something where you can stake. I want it to be something where you can make NFTs, where it's carbon neutral, where the gas fees are low. So it's going to take a lot to do if if I even want to look into it, which I guess I already am. And if I want to do that, I want to make sure that's useful. Doge is a meme, and that's why it's going live, but you can't do anything with it. I want to make sure that it's environmentally safe and it's something that you could do stuff with, but... I was just retired. I don't want to like that's that's work. That is like real work, and I just I don't want to anymore. I want to enjoy life, so I'll keep you guys posted on it. Uh, oh, J Rock says subscribing. Why? Thank you. Why? Thank you. Thank you so much. Uh, Postco said, "Hey, got your message. Going to send you a song tonight." Oh yes, send me a song. That'd be great. Thank you, Postco. That's why says that's what we make mistakes on holding. Yeah. Uh, totally awesome says, "Is ten million only good for you to retire?" Depends how long. It depends on other things that you have coming in. Because, yeah, at some point, probably, because you're going to have $10, uh, $10 million if it, when it reaches a dollar. So, yeah. Um, Raythak says, don't want to hijack the convo. Uh, what is your non-financial opinion of crypto.com or CRO coin? Raythak, you can ask whatever you want. You donate more than anyone. You can totally ask. Um, don't want to uh, What is your non-financial opinion of crypto? I don't know. I have, I'll look. Raythak, because it's you, I will look into that. And I will get back to you on uh, on that. I'll uh, 
probably in my next stream or whatever, but I will look into that. But see, when I go into it, I go hard. I go like hours and hours and hours on videos, on the people that created it, on what it's worth. So give me a little, give me like a couple days and I'll make sure to get that back to you. Um, so to get back is 10 million good for you to retire on. If, if you have a lifestyle where you are in, uh, if you have a lifestyle where it's cheap, uh, again, Thailand, you could retire on a couple hundred thousand. In New York, you need a lot more than that. Uh, but again, it depends on your lifestyle. Like a, if you're renting in Brooklyn and your rent is several thousand dollars a month, that, then 10 million, yeah, maybe, probably. But if you're Long Island and you live in a cheap place like this, Long Island, honestly, most times you're not going to find anything for under like $2,200. I got lucky with this for 1500 because it is an attachment to a house. Um, the guy likes that I was former military and he feels a good, he's a little older and he feels it's a good sense of security. I was like, okay, yeah, cool. So, so he gave me a deal and it's very, very small. So, so that's why, and it's only temporary, but again, depending on where you live, like let's say by 2035 only hits $5 and what's 25 million, you know, if I'd say about 25 million only and you know, so that'd be uh, $125 million. I'm not going to change like who I am. I'm not going to go in and, and suddenly buy these $10,000 Armani suits or Gucci or whatever. I'm still going to live simply. I'm still going to, oh, all right. Let's see who we got here. Ray tax, another $3. Oh my God. Thank you so much. Thank you. Super chats are the best. You guys, uh, you guys make my heart a flutter. You make my girlhood tremble. Name that quote. It's from Hey Arnold. Um, uh, Moon Moon says, I know a sad story about my uncle. He has been talking about his investments for several years and each time, he always mentions some promising car company. Ooh, uh, I really hope it's not Nikola or um, he says, Moon Moon says, I found since COVID-19 is that the promising car company was Tesla. And my uncle sold all, oh my God, no, no, he sold it, no. <laughs> well, I, I mean, depending on when he bought it, he could have bought it very, very early. And maybe when he sold that before COVID-19, even it was at the top before COVID-19 and then COVID made it go down and now it's up here. So, but I, either way, I, I wish him well, I, I, you know, if he took profit, good. I, I hope he did. Um, I hope he did something well. Um, prayers for your uncle. The story of Joshua says just here to say, Omi is my homie. Fiat bro, crypto rich. <laughs> yeah. Uh, pretty much same. I have a lot more in crypto. I, I, I have nothing in cash. I, for those of you that were on my stream this morning, saw me, give my rent to my uh, landlord. So I have zero, not zero. I, I've got a couple hundred left in each account. So that, and, but I, again, crypto rich. I, I, because I went to the bank on Monday and the money that I got in from my aging receivables that I get paid back each week, went right into Bitcoin. And why I ran into Bitcoin, not anything else is because I, I had 0.8 Bitcoin. Then I had 0.4 Bitcoin. Now I have slightly more than 0.4 Bitcoin. Uh, but I sold that to buy Omi and, and more in Earth too, so I, I need to replenish the Bitcoin a little bit. Um, Postgo says thoughts on come rocked coin. It's for adult <laughs> NFT. <laughs> uh, seems like the Pornhub of NFT is worth investing. If Pornhub ever did come out with that, it probably would be. But I, I don't know. I, I have to look. I have to look at it. But my first thing I have to do is, because of Raythax, look at Crypto.com, CRO coin. I will do that. Frisco, what up, buddy? Uh, how's it going? It says, just passing by to say hello. I have to go back to work. Okay, you have a good one, Frisco. You go and uh, you, you, you make friends. Postco says it's a real coin. I'm not even joking, bro. Um, wow, that's <laughs> that's incredible. I bet it is. That for a joke, maybe, if you're already well capitalized in other places, want to throw 100 bucks at it or 1000 if you're really well capitalized, sure. But... Um, I, I wouldn't just yet, just because if, if they, if they do that and then Pornhub gets into the game, oh, it's over. It's over for any other one that's trying to compete with that. Um, the only one that I think even could compete with Pornhub, maybe it might be Playboy or Hustler. Maybe if they fuse on Ha, if they, if they go and they fuse on Ha and they become a super, uh, Pornhub thing, then, then maybe they might be able to take on Pornhub, but, but maybe not, I mean, not really. So. Good for the throat. So outside of that, let's get back to some passive investments. Uh, a lot of people think that dividends on stocks can be good. And, and they can be. If you want to, if you don't know anything about the stock market and you're well invested everywhere, you want to get a good give, dividend stock, Johnson & Johnson, they're into everything. But I think 
with dividend stocks, I don't ever buy those because I feel that if a company is paying a dividend, they just don't know what to do with their money. Like Tesla's not paying a dividend and Tesla's got $20 billion in the war chest. Why? Because they have things that they're, they're spending money as fast as they can. You know, they're building two, two Giga factories right now. They have Giga uh, Berlin, which should come out in Q3, and Giga Texas, which should come out in Q4. Um, and then they'll, they'll probably have one in the Northeast. They'll probably have another one in China. They might have one in Australia. So again, they're building batteries, doing all this. Um, I don't like companies that give out dividends, for stocks at least, just because I feel like they're just flushing money down the toilet. Posgo said, thoughts on renting out NFTs on VV. Oh, that's another thing. All right, so passive income that if you have a certain NFT that let's say, you know, serial number happens to go hand in hand with strength. Yeah, rent them out. Rent them out and let other people fight with them. Like, I remember this one kid that had a bunch of good, he had a really good Yu-Gi-Oh deck, but he just didn't know how to duel. I was very good at that. And so I was, we would split the spoils as it were at lunchtime and we were like, all right, let's go, let's get this bread and vice versa. Um, my friend, Joe, uh, Joe, Joe vintage R Pokemon or whatever. He is very good at dual, uh, not dueling, you know, battling with Pokemon cards where Pokemon cards, that was not my strong suit with battling in the games. Heck yeah. You could not touch me in those games back in the day. I was going to earthquake all y'all. No, no. Um, but yeah, I was, I was very good. There's some things I'm very good at, some things I'm not. And if I'm not, I'm the first one to be like, hey, I have these great characters, these great whatever. Take them. Give me a little bit of money and then go at it. Go win. And once you go win, am I Adrian from Rocky 2? Because win, dun, win, dun. What are we waiting for? Take that. Yeah, if I'm Mickey. Um, yeah, go win and then we split the spoils. So a quick story from... Uh, if anyone's seen Mermaids, the body found uh, happens happens on the western coast of Af southwestern coast of Africa, where these fishermen they go out to the shallows of the water and they make the call. They call in the dolphins, and what happens is that the dolphins come in and they drive in these schools of fish, right? And when they drive in these schools of fish, the fishermen will throw out their nets. And they catch the not only the fish, but they catch the dolphins in the nets as well. And as they reel the nets in, the dolphins don't struggle. They don't make noise because they know that as the fishermen reel the nets in, they're going to let the dolphins go. So they let the dolphins go. They, catch, they, um, they bring the rest of the fish in and the dolphins wait in the shallows of the water for the fishermen to share and they give them part of their catch that they earn. They essentially split the spoils. That is exactly what's going to happen with NFTs with VV. You're going to have this kid or old person or whoever that is just going to have these crazy, amazing items, these amazing NFTs. And then what's going to happen is you're going to get these dark horses that just they know how to battle. They know how to, they're just so quick with their reflexes but they don't have the right tools. It's like that dude from Fast and Furious says, I'm really milking this, uh, and, but I can't drift fast enough. We need better cars. And you can get it from, yeah. Uh, so that's going to be so insane. Like, am I Palpatine? Because we're going to watch your career with great interest. That is a great point you brought up. Um, so thank you for that, Post Ghost. Post Ghost also says, Gary V keeps talking about 5-5 five, five and the NFTs and the Roman numerals for 5 is the letter V. And 5-5 five, five is V, V, a.k.a. V, V. You think Gary Vee is going to partner with them? Akomi had, I, I had hypothesized, hypothesized about that. And Akomi had said that they, when someone asked about it, Akomi said, not yet or, or not right now. So I, I think they are going to at some point because they don't follow, they're, they do not follow people that they don't have, that they don't work with. They follow the people, some people that draw Batman or Voices for Harley Quinn, or they follow DreamWorks animations. They follow Hasbro because, they have licenses and deals with them, but uh, they they also follow Gary Vee, so I'm pretty sure, yeah, they, they, they do have something with them as well. Um, they just might not announce it for a while. Moon Moon says, thanks, I think my uncle is doing well after that. What percentage of cryptocurrencies do you think will survive in 10 years? That's a good point. Uh, I think Ethereum, Cardano will still, yeah, or Ethereum and Cardano will survive, and coins that have stood the test of time, Litecoin, I almost never hear anyone talking about, 
And I, I don't even like it myself, but it, it's been around almost as long as Ethereum. So uh, Litecoin will probably still be around as well, even though I don't hear people talking about it. It's just stood the test of time. My throat is getting really sore. I'm going to go for another 10 minutes. I'm going to do the Patreon thing once more, and then I'm probably going to stop because my throat is dying. Streaming for an hour and a half twice a day. Apparently, it's not good for your throat. Uh, but out, outside of that, um, what was the question again? Uh, oh, yeah. So other cryptos in the next 10 years. Percentage-wise, probably about, you know, and some of these won't go to zero. They'll just be worth close to zero. Maybe... I don't know, 15% of them that, that are out right now uh, will survive. I, the new ones that are out. Uh, the old ones, will obviously, they'll, they'll still stay. But the new ones that are out, maybe 15% survive. Um, and, and some just fall into disuse and they're just burned or melted down and they never go away. But the idea that you're going to have uh, in all of these cryptocurrencies that are right now stay. And, and again, um, there's thousands um, so out of the thousands of there are, let's say a couple of hundred stay and are relevant. That's still a lot. That's still a good amount. And new new ones are created every day. So that's what you have to think about it. Um, Uniqual Ash says, just hit 100K Omi. There you go, Unequal Ash. That, that is enough for, I think, in by mid this decade, if it reaches a dollar, like I think it will, I have $100,000. So congrats on that. Keep it up. Postco says, when Omi hits $5 in 2030, are you going to start a Chavez Lambo co- club? Um, when Omi, I, I think by in the 2030s, it hits $5. I think by 2030, maybe it hits three. Um, I don't know. No, probably not a Lambo club. Maybe a Tesla club. Although there's probably definitely a bunch of those. But at, at that point, that's when I want to... I, I've told people on Facebook, my plan before I got into uh, Earth 2, before I got into Omi... Before I got into Bitcoin, it was to continue working my butt off, which I, I would have probably died. Um, and it would have been to donate 500000 or to take $500,000 and to buy wilderness areas in Madagascar because that's where all the endangered species are, or most of the endangered species are, at least in one place. And, you know, buy the wilderness area and then make it a conservation spot. Uh, obviously, now I'll be able to do that much quicker, but I want to be able to not just uh donate and put a million dollars towards charity i want to be able to put multiple millions of dollars towards charity maybe starting in 2030 um and and then maybe a a house for uh the workers that work at and the volunteers that work at uh best friends animal society uh they're over in utah they then they definitely deserve it so moving out one um ty anderson any suggestions why e2 turkmenistan is red for two plus weeks now are they selling big time there i'm not 100 percent sure um I have to look in what what price are they at now because I if they're if they're selling they're going at a discount uh, and they're going for really cheap I'll, I'll go and get some. Family's camping says hot. I I have a Litecoin miner but it uses more power than it makes in coin. Yeah, it's unfortunate. I mean that was true for a while with Bitcoin as well back in like the early 2010s. Like yeah, um, if you if you mine it's it's you're gonna spend more in electricity than you are at mining. There was actually a kid in the Air Force that has a. Um, that I was in tech school with that he was mining Bitcoin on his computer for like in text for like four weeks until they got the bill. Like what the fudge is this? And the kid, like they like spooked him. Uh, they, they made him like stop mining. But I thought like the way he described it, I was like, Oh man, he's going to get kicked out. But, um, there was a kid that got kicked out for playing world of Warcraft online on, uh, in a deployed location where you were not supposed to do certain like, and he cost the government like, like six figures worth of money and they just kicked him out and it's like oh <laughs> um he made a big mistake um tyana says four weeks actually my only red interesting but yeah I'll, I'll look after this um but yeah just because you litecoin isn't making any money now and the miner doesn't mean that litecoin won't go up in the future again i don't know much about litecoin so i don't know there uh, Post Ghost says 784,000 Omi. So close to that one mil. Heck yeah, Post Ghost. You're doing it. You're doing it. You're over three quarters of the way there. I believe in you. And I, I think we'll have this opportunity right now. Still buy it under a penny for the next month, maybe two. But again, once it does that correction, and it will, look at it at like three to four cents. Because once it, the resistance is 0.008. Once it gets past there, it's probably going to go to all-time high. 
1.1 or 1.12 cents. And then you're going to see it go from there, especially if it gets listed on Binance. Oh, my God. The ramifications for that are going to be insane. Alan Wang says, why is Omi not going up recently? A lot of NFTs have been dropped. Correct. Uh, it's because it's hard to buy. It's because that nobody knows about it yet. Out of the 250,000 users, there's only 100,000 uh, people that have Omi. And 100 of them are, have have um, have a billion Omi each. And then you have those investors that have a billion Omi each that are going to liquidate at some point this, not not all of it, they're going to liquidate a little bit of it at some point this month. So people are nervous and people are scared. Some people, it's new. Um, I think when we're all going to be proven right, however many years it takes to reach a dollar, um, or even at, even at 10 cents, when we all make 15, 17 X our money, people are going to be like, oh, hey, that's... Um, you know, it's it's still it's still new. It's only ten cents. Like, okay, yeah, but look at what it's attached to. Um, people are often pretty slow to to get into it, and if it's not touted by the mainstream media or even talked about, they're going to be like, oh, well, it's not on any of these major exchanges, which is another reason why it's not um, as big as it is. But this is the perfect storm. It's got all of these amazing licenses. They hinted at Pokemon. They hinted at Disney, and they have a growing user base, burning so much Omi. And, and then it, to be listed on Binance on top of that perfect storm, it's yeah, I say three to four cents when all this happens. Later, Randy, I'm going out to collect some Bitcoin in Coin Hunt World. Get it, Earth 2 giveaways. You get that bread. You get that bread. Uh, Postco says, I love WoW. <laughs> yeah, yeah, WoW, WoW is pretty great. Uh, and there's actually rumors that uh, VV has WoW as well, as far as uh, licensing. Ty Anderson says, I've seen a big red for four weeks. Plus, is good. Users are buying in high-key locations. Yes, they are. Bosco says, I'd let that guy playing WoW. and <laughs> I'd be that guy. Yeah. Uh, there's a couple of them. And, and there's a big gamer. When I first got in, there wasn't as much gamers in the military. But when I was getting out, it seemed like half the new people coming in, they didn't want to go out anymore. They didn't want to like have a good time or talk with girls. They just wanted to sit in the room and play video games. It was like, okay, respect. I like video games as well, but you know, come out once in a while, go, go be, you know, go be social. And, and I get it. Maybe they're a little more introverted, but it's like, come on, man, you can do that anytime. Live life. You're only young and in shape, you know, for a short amount of time. I, I get it. You could be older and in shape. Um, I'm not right now. I'm yeah. No, no. Um, let's see what we got here. HG rock online says, Hey, super Randy, you are the man. I got my first First, uh, Omi today to the moon. Heck yeah, HD Rock. You keep that. You keep that going. Tyan says, uh, but the big red countries now, Turkmenistan. Ooh, Numskull says stimulus for Omi. Um, Numskull, did did uh, are there any news about more stimulus packages coming? That would be pretty interesting. I would I would enjoy that. Um, get some money, put it right into Omi. I think that's what I do with this one, or, or I think I, I use that for rent. I'm not hundred percent sure. Uh, Outside of that, um, I, this this is another reason why. Oh, let's just go to Bitcoin for a second. You're going to have these people that have a um, using fiat money to go to crypto because crypto can't be you can't make more can't make more Omi can't make more tiles in Earth two, and you can't make more Bitcoin. And this scares the crap out of some countries, especially their leaders that are going to lose control of their citizens. And they say like, it's not going to work anymore. Them saying like, oh, hey, you know, vote for me and we'll get you this bail. We'll get you this stimulus. That's not going to work anymore because people are going to be going to crypto. People are going to be making it so that they have actual wealth. They have actual um, ties to something that's tangible and, and real and something that can't be manipulated. I love that. I love that so freaking much. So, uh, Realm World says rumors on the fourth stimulus 2K. Oh, my God. Owe me to the moon. Bitcoin. Tesla. Earth two, uh, I think one of my one of my stimulus checks was in Earth two as well. So it's all been working out so far. Numskull says yes. I got an IRS letter dated twenty nine April from Biden saying we'll get it soon. Fourteen hundred, woo, fourteen hundred two grand. It doesn't even matter because all that's going to go into might go to rent, it might go whatever. That helps me. That that, <laughs> that helps us. What whatever gets us more uh, money. Um, yeah, if you invest it, we're we're, we're going to be doing well. Postco says, what do you think ultra rare NFTs will be like one to 3,000 mints are going to be worth on V when V has like 10 million users, depending on what they are. I mean, you have that one horse Donnie sold for 27,000 gems. 
It's ridiculous. It was not even nostalgic. So some of these, yeah, some of these are going to be worth a hundred grand, guarantee it. Because uh, again, you not you don't just have nerds. You have cool people in it too. You have investors. You have money coming in. Like the amount of money that's spent on Pokemon. You have places like Troll and Toad or places like just places that are spending six figures a month. I mean, seven figures a month on Pokemon cards and just doing it to resell. You're doing that and you're going to get that with NFTs as well. You're going to get these big stores coming in that are going to buy out everything. They're going to buy record prices for everything. They're going to wait a couple of months and they're going to slowly release it one at a time, each for a new record price point. I guarantee you, I've seen it in Pokemon cards. I've seen it in all collectibles. I guarantee you that's what happens. You get these companies are going to buy a couple hundred thousand a month of those and then they're going to wait and they're going to slowly release them. It happens all the time. Um, am I that song the drug of me and do you? It happens all the time. Well, actually. <laughs> I heard a knock up on my door the other day. I opened it to find it lying in my face. A fear of mortal stock, it still reverberates. Everywhere I go, I drag this coffin just in case. Da -na 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 -na. Sorry, <laughs> I had to do that for the uh, hour and a half mark. I'll finish these comments, then I'm going to bounce. Um, Artie says, can you repeat how to make passive income with OMI as short as possible? Yes, 100%, Artie. So and it's the same way that you can stake Ethereum or stake another crypto, you're going to be able to stake OMI. And what that means is that you're going to be able to take OMI lend it out to Coinbase or whoever, and they're gonna get work on the ledger, make sure transactions are done correctly. And they're gonna give you five to 7% per year on your OMI. And, and then there, so if you have a $10,000 worth of OMI, that's an extra five to $700 a year. If you have $100,000 worth of OMI, that is going to be an extra 5,000 to $7,000 a year. Um, and you can do that with Ethereum. It doesn't have to be OMI. You could do that with a bunch of crypto. Oh, you can't do it with Omi yet. Postco says, I put all my stimmies into crypto. My man. Alan Wang says, just bought 100,000 Omi. Invite me to your Lambo club. Um, congrats, Alan Wang. That is, this is just the beginning for us. Uh, Postco says, can't wait to look at picture frames in 2030 and see VV NFTs instead of paint art. Yeah, I mean, it's happening already. And it's weird. People are, I forget what artist it was. He, very famous artist, painted whatever he painted, turned it into an NFT, and then destroyed the painting. This is the type of world we're living in. It is changing very, very rapidly, very, very quickly. Um, chill, homie. Oh, numbskull, you're the best. Um, so anyway, guys, I got I to gotta bounce. My, my throat is dying. It is being destroyed. Uh, so everyone say bye-bye to Dashi. Bye-bye, Dashi. I don't know if we said hello to Dashi. We've only been saying bye the last few times. Thank you, everyone, for the super chats. Those mean the world. Those are the best. Thank you for 45 likes. Thank you for uh, viewing this for the past hour and a half. Y'all are my heroes. Uh, really, that everything that just talking to you guys just means a lot. So I'll catch you all later. Peace, Alex. Peace, Post Ghost. Numbskull, everyone else. Uh, again, big thanks to everyone that had done the super chats. Uh, bye bye. Uh, Cole Oikel, everybody. Bye bye. Dashi. I love you all. Bye. Meow, 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 meow.